show you this right here on your screen because junk cars, thousands of discarded tires and decades worth of trash. This was once in the middle of a neighborhood on Cleveland's east side, but not anymore. Soon it will be green space serving a broader purpose as part of our new Better Land series, focusing on problems and solutions within our communities. Jordan Vandenberg explains what's being done and how it improves the environment. It is the ultimate reclamation project. This six acre property behind me on Cleveland's east side used to be a detriment to the environment. It was a landfill before landfills were even regulated by the government. But in a few short months, it will soon become a community asset. In the rolling hills and rocks, tires and once entrenched trees, this is six acres of blank canvas on what used to be a neighborhood's black stain. Early 1900s has been historically a dumping site. It has collected a lot of uh, debris and scrap over the years. Um, so part of what we're doing for this project because of that is cleaning it up. Did they ever? For months, crews have had the unenviable task of removing thousands of tons of debris as part of the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District's latest green infrastructure project. Making this one unique, however, were the decades worth of trash, junked cars, one of which was buried 25 feet under, and tires, so many tires. You have that accumulation of all this different debris, and sometimes it's really hard to quantify, and so we got to 6,000 tires. We didn't think we were gonna have that. It is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of cleanup. Um, you, you know, this is something that happens in urban areas. We call them brownfields. And just over the time of development, this happens in these areas and they need to be cleaned up so that they can be used for uh, other, have other uses. In the end, the property will go from this to this. Stormwater will collect in this large basin where plants and grasses will naturally treat the water for contaminants before it goes back into Lake Erie. You're catching the runoff from woodland, you're catching runoff from these side streets. Officials say millions of gallons will be treated each year, all the while looking more like a park than a treatment plant. You'll also have walking paths that'll be through here. So we wanted to make it accessible for the neighborhood because we are talking about a six acre site. So this is a pretty substantial piece of the neighborhood that we wanted everybody to have access to. The century old wasteland was once a black stain on the neighborhood. But in short order, it will be green space that future generations can enjoy. The project should be complete by the fall of 2019. Reporting on Cleveland's east side, I'm Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.